Philip Schofield and his family have seemingly mocked Holly Willoughby's now famous, Are You Okay? statement as he makes his return to television without acknowledging his former co-star. In a scene from his new show, Castaway, which airs Monday on Channel 5, Schofield takes a swipe at his tumultuous exit from ITV and this morning while thanking notable colleagues at McPartland, 48, Deck Donnelly, 49, and Joanna Lumley, 78, but makes no mention of Willoughby, 43. In Castaway, the 62-year-old presenter finds himself on a remote island near Madagascar, where he reflects on his long-running career with ITV and his bitter departure from this morning, a show he hosted for over two decades. His departure came in May of the previous year after he confessed to lying about his inappropriate relationship with a younger male colleague. His fall from grace led to his exit from ITV with Holly Willoughby publicly distancing herself from her former best friend and co-presenter. Willoughby had returned to this morning in June 2023, addressing the controversy with a carefully crafted speech. Opening the show without Schofield, she looked visibly shaken as she greeted viewers with the words, Hello. Firstly, are you okay? I hope so. It feels very strange sitting here without Phil. In her statement, she expressed her feelings of being shaken, let down, and worried in the aftermath of the scandal, acknowledging the emotional toll it had taken on everyone involved. In what seems to be a pointed reference to this moment, Schofield is shown in Castaway having a barbecue with his family before heading off to the island. The clip, obtained by the son, shows him handing food to his wife Stephanie and their daughters Molly, 31, and Ruby, 28. With a laugh, Schofield quips, if you're okay, then we're okay, and I'm okay, are you okay? His playful mocking of Willoughby's heartfelt words is clear, yet no direct mention of Holly is made in the footage. Willoughby's original statement in 2023 had been laden with emotion as she spoke to viewers who might have shared her feelings of unease, saying, It feels very strange indeed sitting here without Phil, and I imagine that you might have been feeling a lot like I have. Shaken, troubled, let down, worried for the well-being of people on all sides of what's been going on and full of questions. She continued, All of us at this morning gave our love and support to someone who was not telling the truth, who acted in a way that they themselves felt they had to resign from ITV and step down from a career that they loved. That is a lot to process. In her impassioned address, Holly also expressed concern for Schofield's mental health while hinting at her desire for healing and closure for all parties involved. It's equally hard to see the toll it's taken on their own mental health, she said. I think what unites us all now is a desire to heal for the health and well-being of everyone. Despite this poignant moment in their shared history, Schofield does not mention Willoughby at any point during his 45-minute episode of Cast Away. Instead, he appears to make several veiled jabs at his former colleagues. In one notable outburst, Schofield states, When you throw someone under a bus, you've got to have a really bloody good reason to do it. Although he doesn't name anyone directly, viewers are likely to speculate that his comment is aimed at Holly. Reflecting on his career, he adds, I got into telly because I love the nuts and bolts of telly. I never wanted to be famous. I'm not fussed about that. I miss parts of it. I miss most of it, to be honest. But there are bits that I really, really, really don't miss. You learn a lot about people. I don't miss that. Schofield's appearance on Castaway marks his first major television project since his dramatic exit from this morning. His decision to participate in the survival show, which sees him fending for himself on a tropical island, comes after he reportedly turned down several high-profile TV offers. The disgraced presenter has described Castaway as an opportunity to share his story in an unedited and honest way. Willoughby, meanwhile, resigned from this morning in October 2023 after presenting the show alongside Schofield for 14 years. According to sources, she felt the program wasn't the same after Schofield's departure but was ultimately pushed over the edge by an alleged kidnap and murder plot targeting her, which left her fearing for her safety. While Schofield remains tight-lipped about Holly during his castaway appearance, he lavishes praise on ITV stars Ann and Deck, referring to the duo as his best mates. It was reported in May that Declan Donnelly had been urging Schofield to return to television 
after the two shared a four-hour dinner. Schofield also receives words of encouragement from Joanna Lumley, who sends him a good luck message and recalls her own experience on a similar survival show in 1994. Listen, Phil, these are the tips I've got, Lumley says in a video message. Keep your knives sharp. Spend much of the day trying to find wood. Otherwise, you won't be able to eat anything. When I was on the island, I made a pair of shoes out of my bra, and I would love to think that you could do something a bit challenging and bring it back so we could all look at it. I shall be thinking of you all the time, Phil, and actually, I'm a little bit jealous. Lots of love. As Schofield attempts to rebuild his public image, his silence on Willoughby continues to fuel speculation about the nature of their current relationship. While his new venture on Castaway may reveal more about the inner turmoil he faced during his very public fall from grace.